Good morning and welcome to my Tuesday. It's about quarter to nine at the moment. I'm about to make a phone call that I need to have made before 9.15, so I'm gonna crack on with that shortly. The usual, got the coffee pot on. My daughter went off to college absolutely fine this morning. She didn't have any side effects from her third jab, her booster, it was the Pfizer. She's had three lots of Pfizer now. She did have a bit of an achy arm, but that was all. I haven't got anything exciting planned at all today. It's a day at home, so I'm just gonna be catching up with jobs that I've got on my list. The phone call is made, good, that's off the list. Now, got an email, a gig has come in. Is it a clash? Is it a clash? Is it a clash? This is what I always wonder whenever I see new booking email come in. I <sighs> just check my diary. Oh. <gasps> No, I'm not booked out from another band that day. Yay, it's an extra kick. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I better get on and respond to that one. The coffee is made. I'm just having a very random thought that I should probably learn to use Word and Excel better because I'm a bit primitive with my use of it. I learned how to use it in the 90s. I'm getting a bit confused with my spreadsheets because they just go on so long sideways and I can't see everything at a glance for, for gig bookings. I was just thinking, I bet there's something you can do in Excel where you put it all in in your big long line, but then you press a button and then everything appears in one page relating to that one booking. Now, that would be a good thing for me to be able to do. Perhaps it's too complicated. Perhaps it requires programming skills, which I don't want to get into. But I might look into it. It's 10 o'clock and I'm having a little breakfast break. Break being the operative word. The corn cakes were just breaking up in my fingers. Look at that pile of rubble. <laughs> I've got the Owl Pro Coconut Probiotic Yoghurt. I've got the frozen cherries and they're in there and that will freeze the yoghurt most likely <laughs> by the time I come to eat it. I hope it's going to be sweet enough. These Lidl cherries are very, very sour compared to the Asda ones. And other than that, I've got the Kalu Corn Cakes, Marmite and Lurpak. It's just coming up to 11 now. I'm dressed washed etc I've got the vlog up for tonight and I am going out I need to take this library book back I completely forgot I had it I've had it out for months literally I am the only person that ever takes that book out so I don't think there's a huge rush on for it but yeah that definitely needs to go back so I had loads of Portugal books for Christmas anyway that I'm gradually very very slowly working my way through well, I started one of them. Anyway, I'm going to go and pop that back. I tried to renew it several times. Well, I did renew it several times. And every time they said, oh, we're just auto renewing because of COVID. So you don't need to just have it as long as you like. So it's no rush anyway, but I will take it back today. And also, I'm not going to vlog it because it's a little bit too local. But there's a company that I've walked past like their building a number of times. And they just intrigue me because they look like creatives that I might have a lot in common with so I just want to go and pop my head in and say hello and just ask them what do they do and who are they just because it intrigues me <laughs> uh, but anyway I won't film that all right in you go Portugal book I just suddenly remembered the medication delivery is coming tomorrow so I came down to put the fridge on to be ready to make sure that it's acclimatized oh me and my obsessing it's currently 19.8 because it's been off uh, 20 that one says now, I just had the biggest panic because, see that black plug there, which is now the fridge? The one that was in it before, which was on the dehumidifier. It was like wedged in, because this obviously got put in and installed after that got plugged in. And it was pressed right hard against it and I couldn't get it out for ages and ages, but I managed to do it. So that's tethered with um, like a bracket at the top, but I just managed to move it slightly with all my might and I was sweating and uh, getting overheated, but yeah, I've managed to do it and swap the plugs around, so um, I don't have a plug for that now. I do really need to get an electrician to put some more power sockets in down here. It's ridiculous. I've got an extension trail in for my little lamp over there. Anyway, let's go out. Well, I'm not going to film when I'm out, probably. I'll take the camera just in case something interesting happens or, I don't know, something. Probably won't, though. I expect the next thing you see of me will be me back home again. It is very spring-like looking out here today and it's actually sunny, which is great. I've dropped my book back to the library. Lady received it with a big smile. It's always nice to see people smiling, isn't it? Anyway, I went into that place and um, there didn't appear to be anybody in there. I sort of went in, I sort of put my mask on and said, hello. And the voice came from above. It took me a while to work out the direction. And eventually looked up and somebody was bending over a, a balcony and I could smell deadlines in the air. So I didn't want to keep them long. <laughs> you know what it's like when people are just like, get it done. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, 
it turns out he's interested in what skills I have and gave me his card and some leaflets and things about the company and uh, said yeah let's make an appointment for a chat when they're not pressed for time so yeah that was a very positive experience and it's a beautiful sunny day and although really I should be cracking on with jobs you know exercise and sunshine is good for you and so I just kind of carried on a bit further and I'm having a walk and nearly slipping because it's been so rainy we are alleged to be in for a spell of very nice warm dry weather for a couple of weeks fingers crossed for that that would be nice a nice little respite from the wet and cold between now and the holiday Oh, speaking of which, Izzy's swimming costume came and it's very sweet. I haven't seen it on her yet, but she said it's in her room, so I shall have to go and get it and show it to you later. I am starving now. I've been back a while. I've been editing, as usual. Yesterday's dinner was a bit of a disaster. I mean, it was very nice. So this is what happened. You may have seen the vlog. I went to Tesco's. I laboured down there after my massive long walk with my aching legs, got all the shopping in, came back cooked dinner just to the minute of when IB was due and just when IB was due and I was keeping my ears out for him at the door and everything was just almost ready to be served up he phoned and he couldn't come he hadn't left his work had got on top of him and he just had to make a deadline so he said can you put a lid on it I'll be over tomorrow <laughs> so me and Izzy yet uh, for some reason I gave us both enormous portions. I don't know why I think it's just because there was so much food for just the two of us Anyway, so that's what I couldn't finish of mine. I mounded it up. I don't know what possessed me Anyway in the pans there is loads left So that's what I'm gonna give IP for his dinner tonight and hopefully the pasta will reheat okay I've just noticed how old this microwave is starting to look because it's getting yellowed <laughs> And things are starting to stick Nom, it's done. I'm gonna rip up some, what am I eating? Masa dam cheese and just chuck it on the top so it can melt. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I had quite a long walk in the end. I didn't do 10,000 steps, but it wasn't too far off. Got covered in mud as usual. Three o'clock and all's well. I've been composing a lengthy email to the guy I met earlier in that place I popped my head into. Said he was interested to know what skills were out there, so I emailed them to him. I've made myself go very sleepy now, though. I really should do some flute practice, but I'm going to have a cup of tea first, and I'm going to sit on my bed and read some of the bump that they gave me earlier. I probably should have read that before sending the email, but I didn't. I just like I was in the mood to do it, so I just cracked on with it. I was my jumper all bunched up. Yeah, I just put it on. Oh no, it's gonna go ploppy ploppy. Oh no, I hate that with new ones. Oh, annoying. I thought it was gonna go on the camera, that's why I was getting panic stricken. You know when sometimes you're pouring in, it goes plop, 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 plop. I have a cunning plan though. Do you wanna know what my cunning plan is? Hmm, my cunning plan is thwarted because all my kebab sticks are not where I thought they would be. Oh, look at the mess in this drawer. Oh, there it is, look. Got a bit of air in. <laughs> <laughs> that tends to make all the difference, I find. I think I'm going to have to do some wiping up. Ah, oh, there we are, all cosy. I'm going to sit and do a bit of reading now. It's ten past six. I can't believe what I did. I sat down on my bed to read those things. And I just came over all sleepy. And I did read most of them. I skim read some of it. And I thought, I'll just have a little nap for 20 minutes. Out like a light. Just woke up now. Boyfriend had left me a message. I'd put the sound down so it didn't wake me up. It's coming in 30 minutes from now. Um, so I haven't done my flute practice, so I'm a bit annoyed with myself to be honest, but I was just so tired and I was just zonk out. Anyway, making myself a cup of tea. Mm, I'm a tea. I can't wake up. Oh, it takes me ages to wake up. My boyfriend, when he wakes up in the morning, like his alarm goes off, he just leaps out of bed straight away. Like none of this hitting the snooze button luck, not at all. He's straight out of bed and he's just with it immediately. It takes me ages. I'm groggy for ages and I'm prone to think ridiculous thoughts, you know, sort of slide into ridiculous dream thoughts whilst doing things like this. Not him, no. And he falls straight asleep as well usually, whereas sometimes it can take me two hours after going to bed. Funny how we're all so different, isn't it? Something just woke me up. I'd forgotten about the trifle. We didn't have it yesterday because my boyfriend didn't come and 
Izzy and I were not hungry enough to have it. But we'll have it later though, oh yes. I'm gonna spend 15 minutes waking up and drinking tea and then I'm gonna spring into action and sort that dinner out. And I think I might need to add an extra tin of tomatoes to the, the jollop because there's not as much of that and it's drier. So I think that's all I'm gonna do though. I was chatting away to my boyfriend who's sitting there scoffing and I said, I completely forgot to vlog about heating the food up. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> On to the trifle now. It's all turned into a big dollop in my bowl, of course. I do not know what is the matter with me this evening. I've just noticed I've just eaten my dinner with my reading glasses on. <laughs> But I am exhausted. I've just gone flop on the sofa after dinner. Ivy is making tea, but he's got really waylaid playing with the fridge magnets. So we could be waiting a while for the tea. He's absolutely engrossed over there. But uh, considering I'm feeling a bit tired, I thought I might just end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Could you give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.